Hey guys, this is Ryan, and welcome to a new series that I'm gonna try out to see if you guys like. I don't know, I, I never know what what's you guys are gonna like and what you're not gonna like, so we're gonna try out this. This is Torchlight 2, and uh, I am running around, um, I already forgot the name of my class. It's like the, like the engineer class or something like that, or the constructor class. I don't know. This is already a terrible, terrible start. <laughs> but we must proceed. Uh, so anyway, I have a I have a ferret pet. That you can see there. He's um he's a he's a ferret. His name is Mr. Duckworth, and uh, my name is Sir Reginald. And uh, we are going to smash things and get lots of loot and items. And uh, that's really it. We're just going to get lots and lots of loot and items and skills. And, uh, oh wait. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's skills. And actually, I want, I want this one. Sweet. Yeah, I, I've looked a little bit, so basically just so I know what I'm, the very basics of what I'm doing. I would never, ever go as far as to say I know what I'm doing in anything. <laughs> so... We'll just, uh, I got the basics down, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, that was, actually, I want to, I want to put it right there, perfect, amazing, and, oh, uh, wait, 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 ow, wait, that didn't work, oh, that's, okay, that's the wrong skill, see what I say, what I mean, just, just, I'm a freaking mess, I never know what I'm doing, there we go, got a little healing bot, which uh, which is pretty crucial. So anyway, so we're checking out this game, and it has chests and lots of of items and people to kill. So you might not know the uh, how the Torchlight series, you know, like if you don't know how the first one went. You might feel a little bit lost. You know, if you're like, well, I, I can't watch this. I don't know how what happened in the first one. So um, I didn't play the game either. But I'm going to give you um, a brief history of Torchlight, at least um, how I think it all went down. Um, nothing about this is factual, just just so you know. But th this should help you, though. Um, you, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. This, this, just, just hear me out. So anyway, this is how I think it all went down. So there, there was this evil sorcerer, and he had a neighbor that he just absolutely hated, right? And the reason he hated his neighbor was because his neighbor, like, had all these torches that he would just leave on all night. And so he'd go over and he'd be like, hey, you know, can you turn, can you turn the, your torches off when you go to bed? I gotta wake up at, like, 5.30 in the morning to go to work. And, uh, you know, I can't sleep because these torches, they just, like, shine right into my room. And he's like, screw you, dude. You know, I bought these torches. Uh, I'm gonna leave them on all night. You know, what are you gonna do about it? You mad, bro? Deal with it. And, you know, and this, this sorcerer, he just, he, he had a job that he hates, and he has his neighbor that he hates, and he has family problems. And so, he was just like, he is walking around one day just thinking about how much he hates everybody in his life. And he found this gym, and what this gym does, since he's an evil sorcerer, he knew this, that he could use this gym to actually uh, like unleash this huge darkness on the world and it's not like like so dark that you can't see at night or you can't see a day kind of thing like the sun's too bright but at night like it would like eat the torchlight you know what i'm saying you get it you get torchlight see see how it's all coming together and you, you think that you know some amazing writer wrote this but no this is all straight from my head anyway so, so he makes, he unleashes this gym since he's the sorcerer and, you know, and it's just all this darkness upon the world and it's a really big bummer and everybody's sad. And so, so then it flashes to, to you, you know, the main character. And when you were really young, your parents died, died in a car wreck and you, you survived. And so your uncle had to raise you. And his name, his name is Doc. And Doc, of course, is short for doctor. But it's kind of confusing because he's not actually the town's doctor. That's just doctor is his name. So he likes to go by Doc. So it's maybe not as confusing to people. But 
really it's it's still confusing and they actually use there's a lot of in-game jokes about that i would assume at least anyway so yeah your 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 uncle the doctor oh look at this guy look at this this purple guy that he's already half dead but that fight this that fight was so much fun that was amazing that was amazing and now i can open this chest i assume haha <laughs> i can i got lots of armor i need to look through anyway where was i in the story ah so so your uncle doc raised you and you know he's always he's always like you know hey it is your it's your destiny to go kill this wizard and you're gonna return the light to the land and you know you're you're very important and all this stuff you a new recruit hold on what do we got here um you saved my life well you're welcome um what can we get um hmm yeah, so you have stuff that fits into your that your pet wear your pet your pet wear <laughs> your pet can wear. There's like three pet slots, and but for right now, I think I'm gonna take the shield because it is very possible that I have. Well, it was possible, but maybe I was wrong. Hmm. Oh, sweet. There we go. Oh, I can't use it yet! I need more dexterity. Can I... How much dexterity do I need? I need eight. Can I get eight? Yes, I can. Boom. Use it. And use the shield that we got. And oh, look! I got these. Let's do ice damage. Perfect! Anyway, yeah, I just put a rune in my weapon slot, if you're wondering what just happened. Anyway, man, I keep getting distracted from my story. So, so the uncle, it, he tells you, like, hey, you gotta go save everybody and kill the evil wizard, right? So you go out on this journey, and, you know, you kill a bunch of bad guys, and you're doing your thing. And so at one point, you have to, like, cross this big ocean. And you're crossing the ocean, and you meet uh, this girl on the boat, and she'd actually run away from home. And so you talk to her, and you tell her your quest, and she's like, Hey, you know, I really want to help you. And, you know, I ran away from home. I'm trying to, like, find myself. And so, so she offers to help, and you're like, Yeah, you know, come along. We'll be this great team. Sorry, small pause. Okay, I can't even use it. Yet. Okay. Anyway. Continuing on. And so, so she joins you on your journey. And you go along, and you're, you know, you're killing more monsters, and you finally get to the the evil wizard tower, and it's this big epic fight, and you're climbing the the tower, and you get to the top, and you're fighting the the end guy, and it's just like, oh my god, this is so intense. And then like you you beat him, and you you think you've won, and then all of a sudden he pulls this this cheap shot and he knocks you to the ground, and so he's standing over you and he's about to kill you, and all of a sudden the girl that came with you she's like. Father, no! Which is a huge twist because there's no way that you saw that coming. And so then he's like, wait, what are you doing here? We sent you away because you got pregnant. And then they get in this big fight because she's like, why did you send me away? You know, blah, blah, blah. And so there is a big fight and they're going back and forth. And so while they are fighting, you actually, you like kind of sneak away and you get the, the mage staff which is the only way you can kill him, um, which you found out just then somehow. Anyway, so then you get his secret mage staff, and then you kill the evil wizard, and you know everybody's so happy because you've won. And then you have to go, you have to actually go, you know, back across the ocean. And on the way back across, your ship hits an iceberg, and it sinks. And so there's like all this debris and stuff in the water, and you decide to give up. The, you know, you let the, the girl, like, float on the debris because only one of you can do it. So you sacrifice yourself so she can live. And she has a baby, you know. It's the right thing to do. So you give her the gym, of course, so that, that you know, you, she can take it to Doc. And she does. She takes the gym to Doc. And Doc does his thing. And he puts the darkness back into the gym. So then... 
you know, it's like the final scene of the game and your uncle is, he's lighting all the torches because he fixed everything. So you can light torches now. And so he's lighting, he's lighting, he lights his last torch and uh, it illuminates the picture of the main character of the hero. And so he's standing there and he's like thinking about all the, you know, the great times they had together and the sacrifice that he made. And while he's doing that, the hero actually runs down the hall and he, he grabs his uncle by the shoulders and it just freaks him out. And he's like, uncle, you have to listen to me. And he's like, you know, you have to you have to help us. And he's like, wait, what? How are you alive? And he's like, well, I'm, I'm from the future. They cloned me because they need our help. But uncle, you have you have to come and you have to help because we need our torchlight, too. And then because, you know, it's like. It's like he's like saying we also need our we need our torchlight also, but at the same time it's torchlight too. You get it? It's kind of a, a double play on words thing there. And anyway, so you know, as soon as that happens, it like it cuts to black, like soprano style. And uh, oh, what can I what can I get? Um, I think we should get these. And uh, it cuts to, it cuts to black, like soprano style. But then, you know, then the music kicks in and it for for it, it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense when I explain it, but it's a theme from Ghostbusters. So it's like, you know, something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you going to call Ghostbusters? And I know it sounds really weird when I explain it, but if you actually played the game, it, it would make a lot of sense. And you'd be like, oh, yep, you know, that's that's the song they should play at the end because it just it makes the most sense so anyway so and then this game picks up pretty much right where the other one left off it's like you know right then and uh, so yeah that's how I think the first game went and uh, that is the, the basic story plot for this game and if you if you think I'm wrong well you're you're incorrect sorry I got I got facts on my side. What do you have on your side? Not facts. Yeah, that's what I thought. 